Siri, sure you know what you're getting into? Yes, and I must do this. Come, we shall talk on the way. Wait, something I gotta tell you before we go. You know, the Emperor really wanted you found. Yennefer mentioned something. Wanted you to visit him. Why would you tell me now? Because this could be your last chance to see your... father. Think I should go? Ought to decide for yourself. But I want your opinion. Should I go or not? Probably just wants to talk. How can you be sure? What if he wants something more? Promised me he wouldn't force you to do anything. So I should go? He is your father. Azima is on the way. I suppose we can drop in. Ready? Let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the Defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. Your Imperial Majesty, Geralt of Rivia, and... Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton. Heiress to Innes Ard Skellig and Innes Ann Skellig, and Suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Get used to it. Before long, every soul from Milfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. Ciri wanted to hear what you have to say. And she will. Your reward. Didn't come to collect on a deal. You asked me to bring your daughter here. I did just that. Siri will hear you out, then we leave. Are you sure? Never again would you need to stalk monsters while wading through sewage. I'm sure. I understand. Honor prevents you from accepting coin. In that case, a stallion, a thoroughbred Nilf Guardian, awaits you in the stables. Treat it as an expression of my gratitude. Thank you. Now forgive me. I wish to speak to my daughter. Follow me, sir. White Wolf, good to see you. Greetings, General. You had no trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. None. I take it you crossed via the ford near Banglin? It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind. A troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west. But he'll not succeed. 
Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. Siri hasn't agreed to that yet. Yes, of course, she is tactful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made. But this is not the kind of offer one refuses. Isn't it? Do you know any who would not like to be Emperor of Nilfgaard? Can you imagine? I thought only the wine-addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. The prodigal daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace her inheritance. <laughs> Simpletons adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate father. Geralt, we're leaving. So nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. Well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. He offer anything specific? Yes, very specific. Thoroughly absurd. Sorry, I don't want to talk about it. Not now, at least. Won't pressure you. When you're ready, let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri, who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the Baron thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. He found his wife, took her away somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the Sacred Oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the Crone's guest. Seem to know it well. Havelark's a good tutor. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. 
The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. Loads of footprints. I've no idea Crowd why. of peasants came through here. Avalach claims vanity is Imler's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthia, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalog's student. Should I shoot? The white one once served the ladies. But he's an old sp Let them approach. They've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fire us down that away with food and drink aplenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. We won't join you at your fires, though we thank you for the invitation. Time we were on our way. You wish to see the ladies. I too hope to before I die. Go up the mountain and face old Thecla. She'll decide if you're worthy. Do just that. Farewell. Ah! He can never know.